So in this lesson, we are going to look at three different kinds of rocks that uh, are made here on Earth. Um, and I can't dig down into the Earth to show you how they're made right now, so I'm going to recruit the help of a friend. This is my friend Jay digging around underground and finding some hot and liquid magma. This magma is going to cool and form some kind of rock that we call an igneous rock. Jay speeding up the process with a bucket of water, and in the process, Jay found some diorite and obsidian for us, two different kinds of igneous rock. Looks like we found some types of igneous rocks. There's really two kinds. One if uh, the igneous rock cooled fast, and one if it cooled slowly. If it cooled fast, you're gonna notice a lot of air bubbles trapped inside. But if it cooled slowly, there is time for crystals to form, and you might see a lot of crystals in the grain of the rock, which is pretty cool. Jay is on the move again, this time digging down deep into the earth. Here, there is a lot of heat and pressure that can melt and stretch and compress rocks. Jay found one of these hardened rocks called metamorphic rocks that we could also think of as bedrock. Looks like we found a metamorphic rock. Something really cool about metamorphic rock is that it needs a lot of heat and pressure to form. You take an existing rock and you squish it and squeeze it under a lot of heat and pressure you find underground, and you're going to see a lot of banding in this rock. It looks like silly putty that was stretched over and over again. Jay is running along on the surface to show us a third type of rock. This rock often happens near oceans or where oceans used to be because there's a lot of layers that are involved to make this rock. Gravel, dirt, sand, all stacked on top of each other that eventually will harden and compress to make this third type of rock, sandstone. Sometimes in this sandstone, we'll get a nice little surprise, an animal that was preserved as a fossil. Looks like we found our third type of rock, a sedimentary rock. A characteristic of a sedimentary rock is that it has sediment or grains of sand and dirt that are fused together into a harder rock. This rock even picked up small animals that were alive millions of years ago and preserved them as fossils. Thank you for learning about the three types of rocks with me. That was really exciting. Um, and stay tuned for our next lesson where we're going to dive a little deeper into fossils and how they're formed.